Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Episode 4 of Season 2, House of the Dragon. And I'm ready for some blood. I'm ready for some fire and motherfucking blood. I'm ready for it. We've had three episodes of them trying to keep the peace, keep everyone calm and cool. Na 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 It's time. It is time. I'm ready to see some bloodshed. Let's just get into it. Let's go. Hey everybody, before we get into this video, I just wanted to tell everyone about my Patreon going on right now, and I also want to give a huge shout out to Gloria Brown for being the first member of the Big Wall tier. Thank you so much, I appreciate your support, but go check out the Patreon, you get early access to all the videos that I upload, you don't want to miss out, check it out. Is that Damon? Oh, is Damon still having these weird dreams, man? Is they, are these like, I mean, I could be reading too much into this, but are these like dragon visions? Or Targaryen visions that they have? Dragon dreams? Who is that? Oh. Speak plainly. Oh. These dreams are so interesting. Stop. Stop it. Ay, ay, ay. Whoa. Yo, Damon is going through it. Yo, Damon, do you need to take like a like a, just a 24 hour nap or something? Lord Grover is looking more hale and healthy than I expected. Uh, this is Oscar Tully, grandson to Grover Tully. He is heir to River Run and the future Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. His Grace, the King Consort Damon Targaryen. It is an honor, Your Grace. Indeed. So he's alive. Yes. Gods be good. Well, my time is short and I have need of an army. Perhaps you might place a feather pillow over his head and speed along your inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here to speak with your grandsire's voice for House Tully in the Riverlands? While he still lives? You gotta do what you gotta That's do, man. Far away. Then you're of no use to me. Summon the Blackwoods here. I require men of action to lead my host of Rivermen. I, I mean, yeah, that didn't go good at all. Wow. Oh, not again. Good morning, Your Grace. It's cool that she still like like remembers Viserys like that. At least I'm assuming that's what it is. I brewed it myself. Thank you. Oh. I'll see it delivered discreetly. Do report if the recipient has need of any remedy that he is known to disagree with the cut. I shall observe the girl closely. Ooh. All right. That's definitely for you, isn't it, Allison? You sly dog. You know that must taste foul. Something that does that, it must taste foul. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess, but you could also just not do the, the coal boy. The host has taken to exploiting the moving northwest, I believe. <laughs> she believes. You no, shut the fuck up. Chance. Perhaps you can, Sir Alfred, when you next sight. Why should your voice be any louder than ours, princess? The queen did not name you hand. It is her voice and that of the king consort that we need to raise alliances and command our vassals. But they are gone. What has come of this council? Oh, who is that? Hey! My lord. Sit, sit down. Come on. Come on, dude. No one cares about you. Sit down. Our enemy is on the march. Is there naught to be done in the absence of the queen but to grouse and claw for power? Thank you. Oh, my God. These sickos at the table. Oh, there's blood in the water? What are we looking at? Ooh, more people dead, man. Where is this? You 
can earn back your honor by raising his banner and fighting in his oh name my against God. the Lord of Dragonstone. All who refuse will have their death. Hey, I mean, pro props to Aegon for actually, like, Aegon and Cole, as much as I don't want to give him props, for actually doing something and getting an army. You're not fit for the White Cloak. Ooh. He ain't wrong. This is a better death than a traitor deserves. You should thank me for it. Yours will come in kind. Alright. Yeesh! Hey, man. Damon, of all people, has taken Harrenhal. I give you a job, and now you just sit there. It's your fucking castle! Ooh! Well, that castle is more crippled than I am, Your Grace. <laughs> it is also penniless, as I happily control all of its gold. So, as Harrenhal saps Damon's resolve, the false queen remains trapped on their island, and Sir Criston continues felling castles in the Crownlands. Well, I need to be informed of these things. If I am to make informed rulings, I will not be made to look a fool in front of my allies and enemies. Aaron Hall must wait. Why? What's going on? Someone inform me! After Cole smashes it, we'll have Dragonstone effectively cut off by land. Oh! This war will not be won with dragons alone. But with dragons flying behind armies of men. No. Have him turn about. I want Harrenhal back. Cole is already preparing his attack. Plotting. Without my authority. <laughs> that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Galmaus ne hortami le pagonai veopolis. Lo koston kota pri predagon. Prozia potaule de repagon. Harrenhal is a useful morass. It will keep Damon well occupied while we strengthen our host and weaken Rhaenyra's support on the mainland. We will deal with it in the Riverlands. In oh, that kind of put Aegon in his place, didn't it? Yeesh. He just got made a fool of in front of his council. Damn, maybe Aegon should start thinking a little bit more before just... Yeah, you fucked up, bro. <laughs> Indulgence was my sin. I ventured into the lamprey pie at last night's supper. Too far, I fear. Oh, he saw the tea. He saw the tea. Ooh mm. That is a rich indulgence. <laughs> but I believe it is a sin to deny your appetites. Only weeks ago, my lord husband was alive, and the realm was at peace. Now I've. I barely had the hours to grieve one tragedy before suffering the next. I regret if I have not been myself. That's fair. Yeah, she has been through a lot, but she's also done a lot of bad things. The war will be fought. Many will die. And the victor will eventually ascend the throne. True. The significance of Viserys' intentions died with him. Fair enough, I guess, but you set this all in motion, so... I mean, I guess it it would have happened regardless, because they were already plotting behind Allison's back, but she made it a little easier. So what are you, then? Some kind of maester? In a manner of speaking. I inherited the duties after the last one fled in the night. Fled? Why? Just never settled in. <laughs> How are you settling in? Not very well, man. I the face of tortured rest well enough. Yeah, he's tweaking. He's bugging. In this place. What would you know of my sleep? Harrenhal's been cursed since its first stone was laid. Have you experienced anything of note? Oh, he has. kind of woman? I'm no woman at all. I'm a barn owl. Cursed what? to live in human form. Okay. You've come here after quarreling with your wife. What? Ooh. You arrive here alone to claim the castle and yet send no ravens. I mean, does it please you that her legitimacy is contested as you stand here with a castle and a dragon attempting to draw an army of men? What is that? 
Here, drink this. What is it? You'll need your sleep if you're to win this place to your sight. Okay. Oh God, what did he drink? Oh, what the hell is going on with Damon, man? Yo, this is weirding me out. What are you doing here? Where are your father's books? I ordered them removed. With no thought to the centuries of knowledge in those pages. <laughs> Who are gone? My counsel, Cole, Amond, they pursue their campaign without seeking my aid or even my thoughts. What thoughts would you have? I'm the king. Do you think simply wearing the crown imbues you with wisdom? Mmm, okay. Damn. I didn't think she would say that. It was my hope that <laughs> once enthroned, you would honor the burden of your new duties, be silent, and strive to learn from the more studied minds around you in the hope that you might be half the king your father was. Tread carefully. Or what? You'll hang me as you did your rat catchers. Whoa. I'll have you banished as you did your hand. I ruled in your father's absence throughout his long illness and Otto Hightower's as kind crap. of statesman as ever lived. You should humbly be seeking our opinions and counsel. You have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. Eesh. She's not wrong, but some of them have really bad ideas, though. What would you have me do, Mother? Do simply what is needed of you. Nothing. What the f- That is cold-blooded, dude. You can't, you can't expect Aegon to just uh, simply abide by that, man. Dragonstone and their dragons are just across the bay. What? Grown tired of living, have you? You're afraid, sir. Worse. It's rational. not. Yeah, it's not being afraid. It's being smart. We advance. Oh Jesus. If they're able to do this with no consequences, I'm sorry, the Renera side is a bunch of cowards. And that's the truth of it. If they're able to do this with no consequences. To support the war that your vassals have been fighting in your absence. Your grace. Ooh. Cole's host has grown since riding abroad. Jason like that. These of both Rosby and Stokeworth and with their combined strength sacked Duskendale. Duskendale. The city has fallen. Many Darkling men declared for Aegon. Those who refused were put to the sword. What of my father? He kept his oath. Cole took his head for it. Only one choice remains to me. Good. Either I win my claim or die. We stand at the ready. Ooh! I like Jace's attitude. I will go. My queen. You? Cannot. I will not loose dragons to war whilst I hide here in my castle. Our allies raise their banners for you, mother. Yes, they do. If you die, all is lost. Send me. No. I will burn Cole's lines and withdraw before King's Landing could even you raise the, the alarm. You lack the experience. That's fair. He does lack the experience. That's fair. You must send me. Your Ooh, Rhaenys. Melis is your largest dragon and no stranger to battle. Ooh. I will meet Cole. Ay, yay, 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 yay. I'm ready to see some dragons in action. And it has passed from king to heir since Aegon the Conqueror's time. Oh, he's armoring up? Drunk? Oh, no, he's going on dragon. I was unsure that I believed it myself. Whoa, look at. It's fucking golden. 
believed that I alone was meant to be this protector. They're 14, 1500 strong at least, my lord. But to unite the realm, I had Yeesh, to Yeesh, there goes Melise! Oh, they're right there too. They're gonna get there in time. He called it the Song of Ice and Fire. Yeah, he did. Oh shit, it's really happening right now. Ooh! Oh my god, how many do they have? Who's is it? Is that is that Aemon? Not Aemon, is that Aegon or is that Rhaenys? All is going to plan. What? Wait, all is going to plan? I don't like this. Do the damage! Oh! <laughs> oh! Yikes! Okay, I don't like this though. What's, what's, what's the plan though? Vagar. Oh, it's Vagar. Oh no! It's Vagar and Sun Sunfire is going too. <laughs> Aemon doesn't like that. Oh wait, wait, wait. Rhaenys's dragon is way bigger than Aegon's, right? Oh my God! Sunfire looks awesome. His grace, the kings. Ooh, dragon versus dragon right now. Dracarys! Yo, she's the blood of the dragon. That won't kill her. Ooh! <laughs> From underneath! Oh! Ooh! Oh, no! Yo, what's about to... Oh, no. It's, it's Vagar, isn't it? Oh no. It's Vagar. Ay yay, fucking yay. Rainice, get out of there. Rainice, get out of there right now, please. Thank the gods. Oh. oh, he's doing both? Did not give a shit. Oh no, oh no. Oh no! Rainies, are you getting out of there? You can't beat Rhaegar or Vagar, can you? Angus Ailes. Yeah, you, you. Yo, she's crazy. I respect it though. I respect that. Oh shit. Shucky ducky. The size difference is still crazy though. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. That looks incredible. Come on, Rainice. Come on, Rainice. Come on, Rainice. Come on, Rainice. Come on, Rainies. Are they retreating? Oh! Yo, Melise with the t oh, cool boy. Is he dead? Can we celebrate? Yo, why does she look completely dead on the inside? Yo, is she turning back? Yo, she's a mad woman. She's going for the kill. Where is Vagar? 
Watch out, he might come up and eat you. Be on the lookout, Rainies. Yo, that's just what I said! Oh, it's done. He's gonna rip the dragon's head off. Oh, no. Rainies. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sick of this motherfucker! Is Aegon even still alive? Because if Aegon's still alive, he might as well just get the crown right now. Oh my fucking god, dude. Are you kidding me? Yo, the fact that this dude is still alive... Yo, I need to see what happened to Aegon, though. If Aegon's dead... There's no way Aegon's dead. There's no way Aegon is dead. Right? Yo, I mean, at least he's a good hand of the king. At least he's going to check on the king first. Whoa, whoa, yo, Aemon. What were you about to do, Aemon? No way. Oh, did his dragon protect him? Yo, is he dead? There's no way he's dead. Are you kidding me? No, 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 Wait, 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 wait. Rainis is dead. Melis is dead. Aegon is dead, I guess? What? Is his dragon dead? It looked like his dragon was still alive, but maybe dying, so Sunfire's dead. What the fuck was this episode? But, oh. But somehow, guys, thanks to the light of the seven, the coal boy is still alive. What kind of bullsh... Look, I don't wanna... I don't wanna call it already, but... I think Rhaenyra's already done. How is she not done? I mean, I guess she technically hasn't lost any men yet. Because she hasn't put together an army yet. But she's lost... Her son, and a dragon, and now she's lost Rhaenys, and a dragon. You've lost two dragons, and two very important people. I mean, granted, you could say Lucerys was not as nearly as important as Rhaenys, but... Yo, Rhaenys, dude, why would she do that? She looked like she was done with life in general, and she was like, you know what... If I'm going out, I'm going out like my daughter did. I'm going out like a dragon rider. You know what? Let's give a clap for Rainies. I can respect that. She lost her son, her daughter, her throne. 
she lost everything except basically Coralise it was like the last remaining thing wow man wow what what does this mean if Aegon's dead what the hell does this mean for the war because no one play like obviously I think Aemon is probably a better leader probably a better king but no one's pledged themselves to Aemon. They pledged themselves to Aegon. And if Aegon's dead... <sighs> Yo, Ray Rhaenyra, you are in a tough spot right here. You are in a very tough spot. You are super divided. You just lost another piece. And you lost Rook's End or... Brooks Rest, whatever it was called. I don't know. I don't want to say it, but it might be time to call it. It might be time to call it already, man. Like, they seem to have your number every single step of the way. I can't imagine how Renera and Corleys are going to react to this, man. The fact that she went back into that fight knowing she was probably going to die is ridiculous. Ridiculous. A hey, respect to Rainice, man. Respect to Rainice. Aegon, man, you can't be dead, dude. I I don't want to believe it. They didn't show me his dead body. I'm sorry, they didn't. They just they showed a weird angle of it, and he didn't even fully look dead. But what if he is? I don't know, man. That doesn't make sense if he's dead. That's going to be it for today, guys, man. I, I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, what a fucking outstanding episode, though. Bravo. Bravo. House of the Dragon, man. But that's going to be it. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below. Subscribe. Peace out.